How you doing everybody? Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here and I'm with Andrew from NVIDIA. He's got a really cool demo of uh, G-Sync in the cloud. So Andrew, why don't you take it away? Okay, so our goal at GeForce Now is we want to make a cloud gaming experience feel like it's a local gaming PC. So last year we showed off how we could reduce system latency. This year we want to focus on image quality. So I want to show you a demo which is our brand new feature of G-Sync in the cloud. So with this, this uh, setup right here, this is GeForce Now running today and um, it's without G-Sync. If you look at the monitor's refresh rate, it's running at 144. The game frame rate, of course, as it changes, is fluctuating between the low 50s and high 50s. And our streaming is going out about at 120 frames as a video encoded file. Now the problem with this is the frames aren't synchronized together. So when you look at the game at first, you go, wow, it looks beautiful, it's cyberpunk, it's 4K. But as you move around and start moving your mouse and moving through the world, you'll notice things like these vertical lines, there's frame stutter, and it doesn't look good. And so we looked at it and said, how do we improve that? And G-Sync is a great feature for NVIDIA which solves that because it varies the monitor's refresh rate to match the rendering of the game's frames. And if you look at this side with G-Sync enabled, you can see now it's, very, it's a very different picture than over there. The game frame rate, of course, is still going to change because you move to the world, but now we're taking the streaming video, the encoded video stream, and we're varying it to match the frame rate of the game, which then in turn matches the monitor's refresh rate. And what happens then as you're playing the game, you can see it's much smoother. As you move through the world, there's no stutter, you see nothing in those vertical lines, they're almost perfect. And this is helping us then close the gap for cloud gaming to make it feel like it's a true gaming PC. And I'll point out, all powered off a MacBook. Really cool, thanks Andrew. We're going to be showing our NVIDIA ACE and Convey demo. So we partnered with Convey. They're a platform that basically creates a Unreal Engine plugin and a whole bunch of technologies that makes integrating these digital humans and games possible. So with ACE, what we do is we produce a number of what are called microservices, which are basically cloud APIs that run and are integrated into platforms like Convey, such that we can uh, you know, bring these characters to life. So we released two microservices, uh, Audio to Face and ASR. So Audio to Face is basically audio in and then facial blend shapes out. With dynamic characters, you don't know what they're going to say. So like typically in games with lip sync, they, you, know, you have a predefined animation and you basically run that. But when you, when you don't know what they're going to say, you have to like create the lip sync in real time. So we use AI to do that. And then with ASR, that's what you use to be able to convert your voice when you're speaking to the NPC from uh, speech to basically text. And then we pipe that into the LLM and then use that with Convey's platform to generate a whole bunch of new things. And so, you know, Nyla will tell you about some of the new Convey platform features as well. Of course. So, three main features that we'll be demoing from the Convey platform here too. Uh, one is NPC to NPC. So now we can see the conversation with them and get it started up and talking. The second will be a spatial awareness. You'll be able to talk about certain uh, features in the environment and ask about it. And the third one will be to ask the NPC to like bring you food, for example. Yep. So like scene awareness is now a big part of this. So it's not just not just an answering machine, not just a chatbot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and have an NPC to NPC conversation first. So we can do a little bit of a parlor trick and have them ha uh, have a conversation about anything you want. So you guys throw out a topic and and they'll talk about it. Handheld gaming devices. Handheld gaming devices. It is. <laughs> All right, so if we walk close to them, they'll start conversing. Nobody ever tried playing those old handheld games while waiting for your code to compile? It's like a taste of nostalgia mixed with the future right in the palm of your hand. Oh, you know it, Kai. There's nothing like the pixelated charm of an old handheld game to keep you entertained while the world catches up to your genius. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, no one. It's the perfect blend of retro fun and futuristic tech, just like Jin's ramen shop in this bustling cyber city. All right, so if we move You're up to them, on, Kai. we can interrupt them. They notice Kai, now we're here. back to the land of neon and noodles. So, have you been on a secret mission, or do you just enjoy making a dramatic entrance? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who wants to talk to her? So you can basically walk up and do, you know, say anything and have any conversation. You just hold hold down T, say whatever you want, and then release. You want me to? You want to? Yeah, yeah. Do you want? To, well, you don't have to type. You can just you can just talk. Yeah, just come up and speak. Yeah. So hold down hold down T. It's push to talk. I like your shoes. Where did you get them? Thanks, Kai. I got so you're Kai and this from a designer in the sprawl. They're not just stylish, they've got some serious tech woven in for that extra spring in my step. 
Good. Anyone else? I'll take Pretty a try. Sure. Yeah, 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 please. So hit, hit the T, right? Yeah. yeah, just hold down T when you're talking and then release once you're done. Hey there, this looks like an interesting restaurant. What's uh, the best on the menu? Hey, welcome to Jin's. The best on the menu is, of course, the signature ramen. It's a taste of the future and a hint of tradition all in one delicious bowl. Awesome. Anyone else want to try? So you can do other stuff like you know you can order you can order said delicious ramen from Jin if you want to. He'll bring it out for you. Anyone else want to step up? Anyone else want to try? Go for it. Ask him to tell you a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Jin, tell me your best joke. All right. Here's one for you. Why don't programmers like nature? It has too many bugs. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. A serious dad joke. That was a good dad joke. That was a good dad joke. <laughs> That was a pretty good dad joke. Do you have another? What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pasta, can I have some ramen? Coming right up, a steaming bowl of Knox City's finest ramen. So based on the conversation, it'll trigger like game events and game actions. So kind of conversationally triggered uh, capabilities and they know where the ramen is and they can go find it and bring it and give it to you. That's kind of a, you know, dynamic command. Very cool. And so you can also, there's scene awareness too. So like we can ask about things in the scene. So, you know, what, what should we ask about? Maybe pick something out, out of the scene. Maybe ask him what's playing on the, this panel behind him. All right, we'll see. Jin, what's on your uh, cyber panels in your in your ramen restaurant? The cyber panels are just for show, but they give the place a bit of that futuristic charm the city loves. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Yeah, we can ask them like about the cat. Like, hey, what's the backstory of that? So it knows where you're looking, and so based on that, it can help provide some context. That cat statue? It's just a bit of old charm, supposed to bring the shop good luck. Can't say if it works, but it's been here longer than I have. Right. So before you know, before today, essentially, NPCs or you know the tech that we've had thus far, they have some context, but mainly just a conversation history mm -hmm. of of what the, it's been. And so they have a backstory that gets fed in, and so they don't really know what's going around uh, on in the world around them. So it conveys new platform. Now they do understand, and so they'll see actions. If an object is moved, they'll know it's gone, and then you can have a conversation about that, which is which is pretty cool. So Very kind of cool. getting to that next step. And how, how, how difficult is it for uh, game developers to incorporate this? Uh, this is all ready to go. It's in Unreal Engine Asset Store and Unity Asset Store. You can go and download and we have tutorials up and running for you. Really? Yeah. So awesome. Unreal Engine and Unity both. Yep. Awesome. That's yeah. great. So this allows <coughs> NPCs like you, if, they, if you need them to trigger something that will tell you to go somewhere, you can have that event, but you can have them then talk about anything else around. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah, so like Nova will talk, she can talk about pretty much anything, but like right now, if we talk to her about going back to her lab, she'll actually try to lead us there. So like imagine if you're getting a quest for another story or whatever, and you're like, you know, she's like, hey, we can go to like the town square or whatever, and you're like, I don't know where that is, can you take me there? They can walk up and take you there, which is kind of cool, and they can navigate the scene and understand how to get there and, and lead you to certain things. So yeah, we can even show that. Hey Nova, I heard you have some good tech back at your lab. Can we go there? You've heard right, Kai. We can head to my lab after we finish up here. It's got the latest... Oh, network. Come on, network. We've had it. Uh, can we go now? It sounds like you're finished. Absolutely. Let's head out. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you.